Hey, good morning. What's up, guys? Corporate 24 here, San Francisco Bay Area, California. We just wrapped up a Axis and Allies anniversary 1941 setup, and the game just ended a few hours ago. We started late last night uh, around 6 p.m. and ended this morning at 2 a.m., and we had a blast. Um, I was playing the Allies, and I was going up against Chaos534 and his buddy Quincy, and around 2 a.m. they decided to call it a game and surrender as the Allies won this game, and I'll tell you what happened here. I didn't film after each round because... We were trying a new rule where you only get 25 minutes per round for each side to try to speed up the game a little. So basically, here's where the Allies pretty much won the war. Uh, as you can see, Germany uh, around now is basically making about in the 20s, IPC-wise. Uh, the Allies have control of the Atlantic. They have uh, men and equipment in UK and basically I was going to Northwestern Europe and France going back and forth draining Germany and Italy's forces Italy is only collecting about nine IPCs so their backs are, are up against the wall um, I wrapped up Africa pretty early in the game that was successful for the Allies uh, with the Soviets I'm able to like, come in and take some of these territories uh, the Balkans Bulgaria Romania and Czech uh, and I have uh, pretty good forces. Um, what really set the tone for the Russians early in the game was Germany on round three, as I recall, left a big uh, stack of tanks here with men and artillery. And I was able to counterattack from Moscow and Stalingrad. That's adjacent to this territory. And I won pretty good. I rolled really good dice. I mean, I had a lot of forces left over and the Germans were just never able to recover after that battle. So that kind of put Russia on the offense for the rest of the game. And you can see Germany and Italy just, you know, they don't have much. Their backs are up against the wall and uh, they're just trying to hold out and let Japan uh, do the dirty work while they can just turtle, but it's, it's not going to work regardless. Russia's making in the 50s and that, that's just too much. UK, I also collected 50 IPCs this last turn and the US is making 50. So... That was very good for the Allies in that theater. Here, I built a factory in Egypt in turn one. And as you can see, I got a lot of tanks with a good size amount of men and fighters. And eventually, they were going to go to Persia and attack uh, the Japanese forces in Calcutta, which the Japanese took in round two. So that was definitely going to put pressure on Japan. Japan was actually did really good in this game. They took most of China, just one territory left. But as, as good as they were doing with Germany and Italy not doing good, they were going to face a pretty good amount of Russian forces now. So they were going to get some resistance. So yeah, that's the Asian campaign. He had a factory in Manchuria, uh, French Indochina, and obviously India. So Japan was just trying to build as many men. He never built tanks, which kind of stunned me. They cost five bucks. And usually when I play Japan, I like to get tanks. Get them up to the front quicker. Men, I guess they're good, but they just take longer. Uh, in the Pacific, we kind of played a hide and seek. There was no big naval battle. Um, yeah, we were just kind of going back and forth. Every time I moved down here, he would go back up here. Or if he went down here, then I would go back up here. You know how it is. It just goes back and forth. Uh, we never had the big battle, like I said, but this is what he had. Four carriers, six destroyers. Six subs, cruiser, battleship, three transports, and some units on those transports. He moved his Japanese Air Force up north, fearing that I might come up here with the transport and two guys and six destroyers and 12 subs, two loaded carriers, battleship and a cruiser, fearing I might, I might come up to seize on 62 or 63. He wanted to protect the homeland. But um, yeah, that was it. You were just making about 50. I felt like Russia won the war for the Allies. Um, England did. England did too. 
was kind of disappointed with the Yanks. I, I mean, they were strong, but I was never able to make, I guess, I mean, I do kind of have a supply line going back in here, helping UK on the Western Front, but I was never able to, like, make a dent um, against the Axis with the Yanks. I felt like Russia and UK did most of the work, but, um, you know, someone was had to keep pressure on Japan and the Pacific, and that's what the Americans did, but... You know, like I said, we never had that naval battle, so maybe that's why I felt like Russia and UK did most of the work, but... You know, I had a good time playing the Allies. Uh, they gave me a 16 IPC bid. I put a sub here and sub there to try to take out the Italian Navy, but... <clears throat> the plane actually backfired uh, as Germany took out my cruiser and destroyer here in round one. So that plan really didn't help me at all. I did put one man in Egypt also. I saved one dollar. But um, holding Egypt, I think, was very key for the Allies because uh, if the Axis broke Egypt, they can expand to these territories, and that's a can of opening of worms for the for the Allies. They could just be hell. Unless they got all this money here, the Axis can uh, take. And I was able to hold the Middle East, except India, obviously. But um, yeah, we did play with technology and natural objectives. Germany got rockets. Uh, America got super submarines. Well, that, that was a nice one, but I was never able to use it in a battle. Uh, England got improved shipyards. Japan got long-range aircraft. That was the best. That was amazing. With bombers could go eight spaces, aircraft six. That was huge. Uh, and I got heavy bombers with the UK. So, yeah, that was it. Had a really good time playing with the guys. Uh, we're actually, we had two games going on. So I was playing in this game. Uh, again, Allies won victory. I was going against uh, Chaos543 and his buddy Quincy. So, um, yeah. It was really fun. And we also have one more game going on here. This game has not ended yet. But hopefully these guys will start playing soon. It's pretty early here in California right now, actually. I didn't get much rest last night. But um, this is a game between Carl7 and Argo Thayer from the form. Both are really good players and um, looks like, in my opinion, the Russians evacuated Moscow and we'll see if Germany brings this army into Moscow and if they take the bay. I mean, Germany could bring a lot of stuff. Problem is if they do, they're gonna get a huge counterattack by the Russians. I mean, Russia has a lot of stuff as you can see. But the Germans also have a very big army, so it's going to be pretty close. We'll see what happens, but I think the Germans have the edge. Um, Egypt is still in the British hands. It's like it's got a lot of forces on Calcutta also. Japan could be on the ropes, but I'm not sure. It looks like the Yanks are doing pretty good in the Pacific. So now that our game is concluded... I can start focusing on this game and see how this one ends up. They're probably going to play a few more rounds. I'll probably watch a few more, see what happens. But, uh, yeah. Both games use a 1941 setup. Uh, our game had a 16 IPC allied bid, and their game had a 15 IPC um, allied bid. All right. Hope everyone has a good weekend. This is Corporate 24. San Francisco Bay Area, California, signing off. Deuces.